It is hard to believe, but yes, I've got here a couple of copies from a hard book that is finally arrived. I can touch it, it's here. Yes, the French Cooking Academy, it's a hardcover. It's been upgraded and it's a cute little book. I can hold it and it's here and I can talk about it. So rather than just brag about it and say, oh yeah, it's a great book, we've got recipes in there. We brought the, the book to some friends and family and even bookshops here locally. And I just wanted to share with you the feedback we've got uh, of the book. I will do a little browsing very quickly. And after that, I'm gonna share with you one of the recipes that I really, really like from that book. And you will see the story linked to it as why we picked that particular recipe, okay? So let's not wait any more time and dive in. So yes, it's here, the French Cooking Academy, how book, 100 essential recipe for the home cook. Uh, it's been uh, upgraded to a hard, a hard cover. And they get a title, get a picture, and of course the book has got plenty of stuff to discover in there. There's plenty of recipes. <laughs> Look at it. But what I wanted to say is like just quickly about the feedback we got from our friends. The first thing they said is that the format, if you look at my hand, is kind of really compact and cute kind of thing. It's very easy to hold. It's not super, uh, you know, it, it's not light, it's not heavy, it just feels right. And you can sit on your bed, you can sit on your kitchen shelf. And some of my friends said, you can even bring it on your side table when you're in bed and, you know, you want to read it in bed because it feels really, you can even put it in a handbag and carry it around and have it always with you. It's kind of a companion kind of a size book. And the more I'm using it, I think they're yeah. right. You know? And uh, that was the first, feedback we've got. But the other one that we got from a lady in a bookshop, this was interesting, you know, she was opening the book and she was like, oh, okay, let me, you know, let me look at the things. And she stops again, she goes like, you know what the first thing is? I can tell you which is great about this book, it stays flat. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, that's great. You know, you're like, I can, I can never do this. So you get the right size, the pages are soft enough and thin enough so that it doesn't uh, fold. You can flatten it like this and follow the recipe. It is very handy. Uh, another, Feedback we've got is that, you know, the titles on here is very kind of clear. You've got the picture, you can clearly see the titles, like a nonsense title. And then you've got the steps and the ingredients for each recipe. Of course, the other feedback we've got is about the pictures, great picture, but we've got one picture per recipe. So anytime you want to make a recipe, you can go and there's always a picture. Well, now for the recipe themselves, of course, I'm going to be waiting for you guys to actually get the book, make the recipe and, uh, you know, tell me what you think, but I don't want to show you absolutely everything. What I want to do here is to talk about the recipe we're going to be doing because one of my friends tell me, okay, that's great, it's French cooking, I can't cook, you know, and is there a recipe in there for me that's got just a few ingredients and that's like extra easy to make? And I say, you know what? Yes, there is. And I would surely surprise you by saying that this is a fish recipe, or at least a recipe that's using fish fillets. And if you go, oh no, my God, not, uh, not the fish that must be against some pan fried stuff, it's not. Okay, let me show you exactly what that is. So very quickly, if we go to our section uh, for the fish, dishes from the sea that we've got here. Uh, we've got the mussel, that's not it. It's not a recipe with the breaded fish because we've got the deer. We've got another uh, special fish stew on here, yeah? the poached fish in tomato sauce and uh, vermouth sauce. We've got the grilled fish with potatoes and, and onion. No, we've got the scallop bake. No, that's the restaurant style saffron velouté. There we have it. Oven baked fish with a vermouth a la minute. A la minute means made to order. It is a one pot way of cooking fish. All what you need is a baking dish a fish fillet of any kind, yes, any kind. That means, and the reason I've chosen that is that you can now walk to your aisle where the fishmonger is or in the supermarket in the fish section, watch all these you know, interesting fish fillets and instead of telling yourself, oh my God, I'm gonna cook this, now you've got this recipe. Look at the, the size of the instructions. <laughs> this is the instruction, it's nothing. It takes five minutes to prepare and like 20 minutes to cook in the oven. You don't even need a frying pad. It is absolutely inside. But rather than just going on about it, what about we make it and you see it for yourself? So let's get started. And it feels weird to make a recipe for my own book. And you know, I'm not telling lies. Look, the book is there. It's standing flat on the side. Just put it on the chopping board there and it's, it's perfect. So the recipe itself, it's great because you can use it with any types of white fish fillet that you want. You could even use salmon if you want, but this is more for a white fish fillet. So you can use anything like a cod, uh, a sea bass, uh, you know, a flathead like we have here. This is hapuka. You can have rockling, whatever fish you have in your, in your country. It's fine. You want something nice and flaky. So this is really versatile. It works in small quantities, 
or larger quantities. I'm just going to be making a small portion just to show you this, but like for two people, that's just enough. And that recipe also has the quintessential ingredient that you would expect for an ultimate classic. Even though it's a simple one-pot recipe, you're going to have parsley, butter, shallots, breadcrumbs, olive oil. We're going to be using French white wine, French Sauvignon or Chardonnay if you want, plus some noyer pas, which is the white vermouth. of the noyer pas is optional. Okay, this is just the extra touch. If you want to do this, if you want to do this with just a bit of wine, you can salt and pepper and you're good to go. All what I need is this, a simple dish. That's all you need. Okay, for the preparation, you're gonna be chopping the shallots on here. Uh, you chop the parsley, a few cubes of butter and the fish has been scored. As you get this crisscross shape a little bit like that. On the underside, this is the ugly side where the skin was. Very important because then we're gonna place the fish on the dish like that, the ugly side down and the good side up. Okay, that's all for the preparation. And now let me show you how ultra simple is it to prepare. Before we do anything, you need to preheat your oven at 220 degrees. It has to be fan forced and before you start because we're gonna be cooking this very fast at a high temperature. To prepare the dish, you're gonna get, as I said, any kind of baking dish and we're gonna start by putting a little bit of olive oil out there. I'm using, I'm doing this properly. I'm using a basting brush. I'm just gonna coat the bottom of the dish with the olive oil. When that's done, I'm taking the fish that I've scored and that ugly side down, okay? And I'm putting this on here. Once you've got this in, I'm gonna take my shallots. And this is shallots from the garden, a bit, a bit young. So it's up to you to put how much you want, but don't worry, we have the precise measurement. We're going to add a little bit of parsley and then seasoning. Salt and pepper. When this is done, you're going to take your breadcrumbs and you're going to sprinkle each fillet. So it depends if you have one piece, two pieces or whatever. Don't put too much in the bottom of the dish. You want to keep this on the fish itself. Okay, with a good layer of breadcrumbs. And you follow by adding butter cubes on top. As soon as the butter is on, you are done. It is all what needs to happen. You can keep this if you want in the fridge and wait either for guests to arrive, friends to arrive, or even wait for your oven to be hot enough. I'm gonna prepare it now. So once you're ready to go, only once you're ready to go, you're gonna take your wine and you're gonna pour your wine on the side, okay? And it's a shallow poaching and my touch of white vermouth around there. Okay. I'm going to put this in the oven at 220 for about 20 minutes. And the technique we're going to be using here, by the way, this is an exclusive recipe I've never shown on my, on my channel. It's a bit of a shallow poaching technique. And the whole goal is during these 20 minutes is for the butter to melt, the breadcrumbs to golden, the liquid to steam and poach the fish and reduce as well. So by the end, when we're done, not only have we've got a nicely moist fish, a little bit buttery with some breadcrumbs, but we also have a little bit of reduced wine sauce that's gonna go uh, you know, with it, as you can see, so it's not dry. How brilliant is this? Let me put this in the oven and I'll share the result, plus an extra special thing I'll do. And here we are. So after 20 minutes, I really wanted to show you exactly what's the raw thing you get out of the oven. You see, it's all dirty. I've got some brown patches here because my dishes was, was a little bit of, of, you know, on the side, was not totally flat. And I purposely did not put much wine because I want to have a really, really short sauce. But don't worry, when you have more quantity, you can add more wine, you can avoid this bit. But that's not a problem. It's part of the spirit of that kind of bistro, on-demand kind of dish, what matters is this here. This is not burned, this is perfect. Okay, you got the crumbs, it's cooked. We've got the parsley in here and we've got that short little sauce here that you can serve just a little bit on there, which is concentrated. Mm. And that's delicious. You know, you got a little bit of the acidity of the wine, the olive oil, the butter, the parsley, plus the fish juices. It is perfect. Let's play that beauty. And there we have it, the table is served. And can you imagine, as I said, this is my favorite recipe, five minutes to prepare. 20 minutes to cook, and look what you've got. This is a classic Parisian bistro side, and it's not a pan-fried fish, right? We're talking about something serious here. This is a poached fish with a white wine and vermouth butter sauce with breadcrumbs and parsley. 
okay, with next to no work. You can make that recipe with any fish fillet that you want, being the white one. You could even use salmon if you wanted. But this is insane. You know, it's so simple and so versatile. But best of all, it tastes absolutely brilliant. Pairing with this, you can use a side of lettuce, uh, French dressing, you can use mash, you can do rice, you can do green beans, anything goes, and it's just a matter of exploring all kinds of fish. This is, by the way, a hapuka fish, which I think is from New Zealand, and I'm gonna just take time to devour for lunch only. <laughs> so I will leave you uh, with this picture, and of course, if you have not ordered the book yet, Look in the video description, you'll find all the details. And once you get the book, try that recipe, try many of the other ones that are waiting for you and tell me what you think, because we can't wait here, especially me being the cook. I put all these recipes together and I just want to hear how it goes. So I'm waiting for your feedback. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time for another French cooking video on the French Cooking Academy. Take care all, bye-bye.